welcome back once again everyone, I'm Kid Plays Games, this is Fallout 4. I left you right outside the Cambridge Polymer Labs and that's where we're starting this episode now. Now you might notice a slight difference, I am all of a sudden wearing my T60 power armour. I did off camera take a very quick trip up to Grey Garden to pick up this armour and have a sleep. That was because we we're going to be taking a vertibird ride pretty much right now and I don't want to have the zoom glitch where when you look through sights you snap into third person view each and every time and as I explained previously that happens when you get out of vertibirds sometimes and the way to fix that is to get in and out of power armor. I don't know why it works like that but it's a Bethesda game. I think we've maybe got enough space here to have a vertibird land so I'm just gonna throw my signal grenade, call a cab, and we'll get out of here. Where are we going to? Well, we're now going up to Taffington Boathouse to do all these quests that we've been given a long time ago. That one is for Deb in Bunker Hill. This one is for the bartender in Bunker Hill. This one is by Knight Reese. He wants us to go up here and clear out Rakeheart Banks. Uh, this one here is for Jack Cabot. And this is the more important one. Search for the recon team. Paladin Dance asked us to look into the recon team. And then when we joined the army, Monster Captain Kells said, have you not found out what's happened to this recon team yet? So we're going to spend a couple of episodes noodling around up here. That's the plan at least. I can hear my cab. I hope it can land there. It looks like it's got enough room. We'll soon find out. Here it is. There's my taxi. Yo, taxi! Please tell me you can land there. Yeah, it looks like it's not diverting anywhere else. I think I've called the cab. Oh, yeah. R literally right on top of it. That's what we like to see. Don't... I mean, that kind of fits, I suppose. Right, let's get in here. It is so nice to have this fast travel. Usually, I mean, you can do this at any time, in any difficulty, but it only really becomes necessary when you're in survival mode. It becomes really vital in survival mode. I know. It's good stuff. There's a car, let's blow it up. There's another car, let's blow that one up as well. There's one. Boom. One slightly annoying thing about vertibirds is it, if something like a rat scorpion or a mole rat sees you and aggresses you when you're in a vertibird, it will follow you all the way across the map. And then as soon as you get out of the vertibird, it will erupt out of the ground and attack you. So that, that can be interesting. I was going to say fun, but it's not. It's just interesting. There's another car. There's another car there. Boom. Okay, we're very near Taffington. In fact, here we are. Prepare for landing. Touchdown could be a little rough. Get, not in my vegetable patch. God sake, man. Right, you guys can go away now. Get off my farm. Did the glitch happen? Yes, of course it did. So let's get out of the power armor. And check if the glitch is gone. Yep, good. Hey, we'll just leave this power armor here. We will take the fusion core out, of course, because we don't want anyone who lives here to take it. What is the dog talking about? What have you found? What? I'm just so hungry all the time. Yeah, okay, so I left some stuff here. Let's I'll just take it on just to stop the dog moaning. Right, so she's moaning there's not enough food here, which is probably correct. We should do a little bit of housework here. Yes, there is no food here. Um, I thought you guys would assign yourselves. You. There. Sure. Okay, and we have a Brahmin who's moved in and is just stuck there. So what we'll do, go to resources, miscellaneous, we'll put down a Brahmin feed trough. And that will encourage that Sandra Brahmin to hang around at this feed trough, which will be here. You'll find his way there eventually. 
Okay, there's five people here, ten beds, six food, so we should get another one on the food. Apparently there's five people here. I don't know where they are. Right, you can be food as well, please. Thank Got you. It. Right, that will shut them up about the food. And the Brahmin all glitches way through there later on. Right, we do need to make a bell here. We don't have one yet. We'll just slap it down here. Meow. Okay, food seven. Okay, that's as high as their food can go. So I think we'll try and plant some food. Okay, wow, okay, we've got 17 corn all of a sudden. That'll be seven and a eight, nine. There we go. Ten, maybe some more meat fruit. We've got 29 meat fruit in storage, 51 potatoes. I think we should keep planting corn. We'll get these guys up to 12 with corn. So eight, ten, eleven, twelve. Because each settler can produce up to six food, so we've got exactly enough food to keep two of them happy, even though this one is trying to walk through her power armor like an idiot. She'll sort herself out. Right, so I think what we're going to do here is... Whenever we load up on loot from here, we're going to take it back to Covenant, because Covenant doesn't have an active radio beacon yet, it's got no real defenses, it could be in trouble. I think if you go to data then workshops you can see the all your settlements and their problems Abernathy farm says it's got a warning but it's just because their happiness is 77 and um, that's good enough okay covenant isn't happy because we haven't got enough water and there's no food and there's well there is enough defense at the moment because they've got no water and food hangman's alley no, that's fine the only problem is that they're not happy, but that's not an issue. Okay, good. Right, onwards. Let's build some ammo before we go. We do only have 200 rounds of this. The crop's coming in pretty good. Huh? Call me Char Charmer. Apparently we're tired, so let's have a little sleep and we'll begin the Lost Patrol in the morning. Right, let's get a move on. Everything here should be clear. We cleared out 6,000 blood bugs up here. And that hospital and all the super mutants that were outside it. We've now got plenty of ammo, which is great. So let's find this Lost Patrol. We came very close to starting this quest and doing it, but then I decided to go and do some main story instead. I think that was the correct decision. We've done all this. We've done that police station. We've done that underground station. We've done Slocum's Joe headquarters. And the Lost Patrol begins just up here. This is a random encounter spawner right here. But I don't think it's active until the first time we've been here. No coke. Now we did spot last time we were here. Quite a few zombies roaming around in that hospital. I can't see them at the moment. But I'm sure we will. Yep. Let's just blow up all the cars. Here they come. Ooh, that was legendary. Viable blood samples. Spatula, I believe, is rubber. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna. When did I pick up the ammo? That was stupid. Well, someone's asking for help. Yes. 
I think whoever was asking for help was up on the top level, so we'll get there. I'm not sure if the zombies killed them before we could save them. I've gone back to hidden, but there is still something here. Uh, hello? We heard someone call for help. Um, there's no one here. There's, however, a cooking station. There's no dead body. Uh, okay, there is. What's this dead body here before we got here? And I don't think a raider would be calling for help. Alright, that's mysterious. There's no one round here. Was it in here? No, it was a male voice we heard. It wasn't you. Weapons workbench. That's cool. Alright, very strange. Someone called for help. Don't know where they are. Didn't find any dead bodies. Apart from a raider. Fair enough. You do you. I think that spawner will be active now. Right. Let's find the Lost Patrol. There is a... Distressed Pulsar. Which gets louder and faster the closer you get to where you're supposed to be going. And you get a strength indicator at the top. This should be the recon team then. Let's turn that off because it's very annoying. It's fused solid. So what the hell happened here? This one too. Wow. What happened here? Useless. Right, we'll take his hollow tag. And the distress pulsar. And then we have to listen to his hollow tape to find out what happened. Ambushed on the road. We're outnumbered five to one. Bottom report. We're down to five percent. We'll have to scuttle the armor. We can't let them have it. Self-destruct. Ferris, slow back. We'll head for the old military base, then try to make it to our holdout. The code will be our call sign. All right, move, move, move. Okay. So they were fighting someone, and they were extremely outnumbered. Nice. And they were in danger of losing their, having their armor captured. So I think they got out of their armor and destroyed it and carried on on foot. Okay. There's no other dead bodies, so I'm not sure who they were fighting. They're fighting someone. I saw a rad scorpion tail just up there. This area does have quite a few rad scorpions in it and they're quite scary. Where is the quest sending us now? It is Lost Patrol Investigate the National Guard Training Yard. Well, that's good, because Deb in, that, in Bunker Hill wants us to clear that out, and it's just down here. Which is this way. There's dead soldiers, but 
I don't think they're associated with the Brotherhood guys. I'm going to try and stay on the rocks if at all possible because red scorpions can't spawn in rocks. Dang it. Okay, I actually hit it. Let's go and loot that thing. There may be more of them, so I should reload. Yep, there was more of them. We need to get up on this rock so it can't spawn underneath me. It can just spawn close. Ha! You got exploded. Rat scorpions are terrifying. I absolutely hate them. Mole rats are bad enough, but rat scorps are just the worst. There's a radio tower just down there, apparently. Alright, this is quite an interesting thing. What we have here is this iBod pod, and that lets you use one of these... It spawns on a little iBot, and you can just, like, patrol. You can just um, use them to investigate the local area until it's destroyed. A pretty niche use. I'm actually not going in the right direction, but I just want to check out this radio tower. Don't think there's any loot here. There's a lot of radios around. You just heard from the ink spots with maybe. Right, let's extend this relay tower. As we know, they give us little radio signals that we can investigate, and I'm sure some of them will be along the path we're going to take. Default radio signal found. And apparently that's it. Okay, that's fine. That ain't no problem. That is the National Guard training yard. That is a gun turret, so let's just... Damn it, are we not close enough? Yes, we are. I just can't aim. Well, I think that was a red scorpion. Yep. Damn, these things hit hard. I hate these things. It didn't help that I wasn't in sneak mode. We got hit rather hard just then, because red scorpions do hit hard. Alright, two quest markers. Because we've got two quests here. I see you, little gun turrets. Oh, apparently we're in danger. Oh, hello. Where did you come from, dude? Oh, I'm not chasing your corpse, it's all the way down there. And it looks like we're ill. That's fantastic, isn't it? What have we got? Insomnia, require more sleep. Well, that's not good. Maybe, can we clear that with antibiotics? Let's find out. Aid, antibiotics, stats. Yep, kill, we got rid of that. We're just thirsty. That's that fixed. And that'll put our health up. Right, a National Guard training yard. In this container is a full suit of armor, and that looks like the good stuff. It's only an expert lock as well, that's good. Could be off to a great start here. It's a full suit of XO1 armor. Oh yeah. 
I'll be picking that up before we leave. I'm not going to be wearing it during this mission because I like being stealthy and speedy and having all my deep pocketed stuff. Let's investigate these ghouls. The brackets are still twitching. Why are the brackets twitching? Okay, and we've got close enough to find another distress signal. There's a duffel bag here. Not that I had anything good in it. How about this little bunker over here? Well, we've got a, a ping right there. So I reckon we've got to go in that building. Uh, nothing here but dead bodies and some ammo. Okay. How about this other bunker? Two bunkers. It's a crashed vertibird over there. That is a sentry bot in there. Okay, I don't think we want to open that door. That would be bad. And a master locked lock tight door there. Okay, we can't get in there. How about this bunker? And this place is locked up tight. Oh, hello, flag mine. Anything in here? Um, not so much. Okay. Don't think there's anything around here. That's a little settlement that you could possibly take over. So I think we're just going. Very quickly, just go and say hello and see if anyone gives us a quest. All right. Uh, oops. That's enough sentence. Is anyone here going to ask for help? Excuse me. Yes. Uh, you didn't. We've got lots of it through it, though. <clears throat> yes. Right, no quests from these guys. Sometimes when you speak to settlers, they give you a quest to unlock the settlement. These guys did not. Oh, do you see what I see? Another gun turret. I right, should get back into sneak mode. That looks cool. I might want to have a look in that bus, because you can not often find nice things in buses. A lot of dead soldiers out here, but that's to be expected. It was, after all, National Guard. So far, the only thing we found is a zombie and a bobby pin and some shots. Okay. We did have another quest to come in here and assassinate Shelley Tiller, but I think we progressed that quest. That was the Silver Shroud. We progressed that quest so far along that she's now despawned and it's not an option to kill her. Okay. From what we saw outside, and from what we can see right in front of us, the enemies here are going to be zombies. Oh no, Shelly Tiller is right there. That's where she spawns. Alright. We did have three quests to do here. Now, we've been really lucky that um, Knight Reese gave us the quest to come and clear this out. Almost all the zombies have got quest markers on them so we can see where they are. That doesn't always happen. Oh, hello. Okay, this one is now... Come on, get out of that room. I want to shoot you. C come on. There you go. Alright, well apparently... We've cleared it out, but I don't believe that for a second. What that means is that we've killed enough to complete that quest. We have not cleared it out. We won't be doing a full clear of this location. This assault rifle always spawns here, so you can come here super early and get an assault rifle if you so wish. That leads to the other building which you cannot get into otherwise. 
bottle cap. Take the lunch box, even though they're easy to build. If I had turned on the distress pulsar, it would lead us into this room. Because that's it right there. And this is Knight Aslin, who is dead. The knight uniform looks really cool. Yeah, so they... No more power armor. They got out of their power armor and just continued on foot. Let's listen to Knight Aslin's holotape. Knight Terra Aslin, Brotherhood of Steel, Recon Team 429 Alpha, serial number 3431. It's been three hours since I set my distress pulsar. There's been no word from the Paladin or Ferris. Their objective was a satellite array on the coast. They may be out of range. My orders were to hold this position at all costs. The entire site has been overrun. The door won't last much longer. Paladin Brandis, sir. It's been an honor, sir. Okay, so for some reason, she was ordered to stay behind and guard this location. I'm not sure it did her any good. I spy a pencil. I'll have that. National Guard Officer's Password. That looks like it might come in handy. Nothing else here. Let's get into this room where Shelly was. And indeed still is. So I don't know what she did. Or who she annoyed, but someone took a contract on her. And we have just completed that contract. So that was one of the three quests that we had to do here. The other one was to clear out this area. And according to the quest pings, we've done that. And the third one was to get the, um, the pulsar. And we've done that. So accordingly... According to the game, we've actually completed three quests in about five minutes. So that's nice. Just safe here. Yes. Just generic loot. We'll take that. And now we can use... Yes, we have the password. Good. I'll open the door. And this leads back outside. But not outside outside, into a corridor that connects the two buildings. This is the only way to get into this other building. Call me Charmer. Okay, we're still in caution. I'm not seeing why we're in caution. Oh, is there someone running around outside? Yeah, I think there is. I can't see him. I can't see him, I can't shoot him. Right, not a problem. Let's just get into the other building. But before we do that, oh, let's level up, because we've leveled up once again. Right, Mr. Sandman, so that is that completely done. So when we're using silencers and we get a... S a sneak attack, we're getting a bonus 50% damage, which is absolutely huge. Because all of our weapons do have silencers. It doesn't sound like it, because this thing makes a hell of a noise when it goes off. But it is using a suppressor. Oh, hello. <laughs> Ooh, technical button. P war money. Some of them are dead, and some of them won't be. Now let's advance up the stairs quite carefully. I see you, buddy. And we're in caution, so there's more. We've cleared the downstairs area. I see you, buddy. Seems like there's more in here. Yes, there are. Right, we're hidden, but the brackets are twitching, so there's at least another one. Oh, hello, Mr. Legendary. Oh, that's good. 
managed to just hit fire that guy. These radios were static, man. They really annoy me. Um, Alright, you've got a pipe revolver pistol, which is like one of the worst ga weapons in the game, next to some 2mm ammo for one of the best weapons in the game. That's fine. Rum, okay, I'll take that. Shish kebab of the nocturnal. Shish kebabs are like power swords. And this one does plus 50% damage at night, plus 100% damage at midnight, minus 33% damage at dusk and dawn, and minus 66% damage during the day. So we will not be picking that up. Unless you want to do some kind of hardcore vampire roleplay playthrough. Which I'm not going to be doing. Okay, there's... Well, that was actually a living one. That's a dead one. You're dead now. Let's, oops. Careful. Don't fall down there. Ooh, drugs. Not seeing anything else in this room. That rat poison? Yeah, okay, we'll take that because I think that's got fiberglass in it. Yep, cool. Any sleepy zombies in that room downstairs? No, okay. Excuse me, doggo. Anything in these cabinets? No? Okay. I see you, Mr. Glowing One. You're dead because I shot you with my silenced weapon that got 50% more damage. That's not a lunchbox, that's just dandy boy apples. Ooh, ghost snap camera. Bottle caps are always good. These are always good. You're alive or dead? Can I even shoot you from here? No, I can't. I can't shoot through that grating. That's rather annoying. Let's have a look in this footlocker. Nothing. Have we inspected you? Yes. Uh, yes. Right. Let's get in here. Yes. Oh, hello. Baseball will take. Aha! I see you hiding back there. Let's do some parkour. I heard another zombie. I think it was in the kitchen. Well, the dogs jumped down there anyway. This is a slightly safer way to get down there via this ramp. I'm not hearing any more zombies, so I think we're good. You could call it a guan of it, bourbon, and Bingo. another sneak mag. Sweet. And I glitched out fire. Well, that's cool. This should be flying around all over the place and then explode. Hope it doesn't decide to do that while I'm standing in front of it. That would be bad. Let's just get out of here. Bugthesda doing Bugthesda things, but that's pretty cool. Okay, been here, been in here. We haven't been over here. This is where the glowing one is. He's got some duct tape for us, so thank you for that. The brackets are still a little bit unhappy. Probably because you were in existence. Yeah, he's dead now. That's good. Anything in here? Military fatigues. Take that because it's oil. Any more foot lockers? Yes, but they're open, so there won't be anything in them. This is the room we looked into. I don't think there's anything here, but we'll check. There might be a technical document or two. No. No. Absolutely nothing. Oh, hello. What's this? Steel antiseptic. Don't care. Right, I'm back outside. And we are indeed properly outside now, so let's open this door. And we're immediately in caution. Must be a zombie that we missed. 
You. Good. Dead. Five blood sample, that'll do. Let's just have a look here. Is there anything here? Um no. How about up on the roof? Um there's a box here. Some explosives. Other than that, nothing. How are you supposed to get that ammo crate? I can't fly. Well, I could if I had a jetpack on my power armor. Yes, that is a thing that exists. Let's just jump off here. Do we have a key that lets us in here? Don't think I can pick this. Right. Fine. So whatever is in there will have to remain a mystery. Because we've never found a key that let us get in there. Okay, so that's that place done. Cleared. Next, we have to go to the Revere Satellite Array to follow the path of the Lost Patrol. And that is this big grouping of satellites, which we can't quite see. And these big satellite dishes. Okay, so we're going to go over there. What was that? Something just moved. Oh, hello. I see Super Mutant. I see quite a few Super Mutants. I've seen another one there. Oh, uh, okay. This is not going to be easy to clear out, is it? So let's just see how many of them we can tag, and then I think we'll try and snipe some of them. Follow the distress signal. Yes, I know. I know that's why we're here. There's at least four super mutants. There's another one there. That's at least five super mutants. You know what would be nice would be if the Brotherhood of Steel would show up right now. That would be pretty awesome. Whoa! What would not be awesome is a surprise bloat fly. Dude, don't do that to me when I'm trying to scout out some super mutants. Is that a super mutant? Yes, it is. Okay, so, um... I think I'm just going to try and s snipe this guy in the head if I hold my breath. Which doesn't seem to be an option. I mean, did we even hit him? Or did we hit the tree? Now we hit him. He seems to have a missile launcher. But I can hear a vertibird, so I think... The Brotherhood... Oh, hello. Might be getting involved. Okay. Okay. Ah! Things are exploding. I can't see where the vertibird is. Uh oh. Okay, there were a lot more super mutants than I thought there were here. But the, the Brotherhood are providing air cover. So let's. Good. We only have one more tagged super mutant left. I'm not, I'm not sure it's like the only one that's still alive here. Well, apparently there's a an aggressive Mr. Handy down there. Oops, and um, air cover's gone. <laughs> it hath exploded. Okay, but we're still hidden. I'm still hearing some fighting, so I think there might be a, a knight on the ground. Or a scribe or someone. We're still in caution. That's disconcerting. It's something I haven't seen, but something blew up over there. 
Well, this has been exciting, isn't it? Let's just be careful. I'm going to go towards the sound of gunfire. Oh, hello. Super Mutant Hound, I see you there. Okay, I'm hearing lasers. And now we're hidden. And the firing stopped. So what has happened here? Brackets is twitching. Hello? Anyone here? Right, that was a super mutant, and now he's dead. Brackets seem to be fairly steady at the moment, so that's good. Okay, here's a mutant hound. This is the crashed vertibird. With apparently some... Okay, there's some Brotherhood Knight. And there's a raider scabber, so there was raiders involved in this fight as well, allegedly. Okay. Let's have a look in here if we can. Yep. What's in here? Just some glue and nothing else. Right. I am going to tell the dog Hold. to stay there because we're going to go up and I don't want the dog to fall and hurt himself because companions always do that. Okay, so apparently the um, the night recon team ended up here. I'm not sure why they would. I'm assuming most of them got eaten by the super mutants. Cap. More bottle caps. Looks like a settlement there, because they've got razor grain corn and meat fruit. Anything around here? No, but there is a rickety staircase going up. Never mind the dog falling off. I don't want to fall off. That's the guy with the missile launcher. Ah, then there's power armor up here. And some super mutant armor and a fat man nuke launcher. And a super sledge. This is just an empty power armor frame, but we'll take it. Just so I can yeet myself off the top. Like so. Let's investigate the next radar tower. Well, that was short and sweet. Ain't nothing up here. Why is there a minor lurk here? Okay. Random enemies in strange places. We've been up that one. We've been up that one. And we want to do this middle one now. It's going to be methodical. Yeah, this is just a power armor frame. There's actually no armor on it. I do like that the Brotherhood actually showed up when I asked them to. Aha! There we go. Another sneak mag. That's the last two locations in a row I've given us them. Dang it. Got it. 38 rounds. Terrible. Right, let's just yeet. And then we'll go up this one. And then there's just the one next to the crashed vertibird. And that'll be this place done. I should go back to the National Training Yard and get the XO one armor. So I might do that. Nothing here. Just some Super Mutant Chain Armor and some 38 rounds. That's the cool thing about power armor. You can just survive any distance of a fall. Which is fantastic. So I don't think this vertibird had 
very many people in it. Because I only saw the one dead body. Okay, what's here? Oops, a sandbag and another dead knight. And some ammo. And right away, it's hollow tape and hollow tag. This guy was a scribe, apparently. Let's listen to his hollow tape. Scribe. Pharisees. Hollow tape. Ah, this is Ferris. It's been two hours since the paladin left. My leg. I can't staunch the bleeding. Uh, the bullet must have hit an artery. Brandis, if you get this, I hope you made it back to Aslan in time. There was nothing you could do for me. Ah, get to the bunker up north. You'll survive. That's all that... Uh, all that matters. All right, so we have to investigate the bunker now. Hey, come on. Come on, Doggo. And that bunker is way up north. So I think we should pretty much... I think we'll go and say hello to the settlement and we'll leave our power armor there. And then we'll go to the training yard and pick up the X01. Maybe leave that at Taffington. And then we'll work our way north to this bunker and we'll finish this quest. That'll be at the start of the next episode. Yes, we look quite weird in a power armor frame without any armor on it and a little head sticking at the top. And that's how it goes. So anyway, I hope you come back for the next episode, and I hope you look after yourself until then. I will talk to you again soon.